my call sign is The Sword. Um, my real name is Claymore Snow. Snow is not my actual last name, but I was adopted by Glacier, whose name is Annika Snow. So Snow is the last name that I have taken on. Back at the end of the Bronze uh, Age, um, like the last event of the Bronze Age, was the uh, rise of the Golden Spectre. And the Golden Spectre's powers are to like manipulate good and evil. In the rise of the Golden Spectre, there was a whole event where heroes and villains, moralities, like their morality alignments were flipped. So Glacier had become this like evil villain and Glacier killed my parents. Glacier also gave me intense frostbite, like that's very, right near the end of the event, to the point where my hands had to be amputated. So Claymore does not have hands. In lieu of hands, uh, he has a, um, basically like a port and like adaptability for several different tools. He has mechanical hands that he can use. Uh, he often wears gloves on top of them just to make them like look normal. But his like go-to when he's in soldier mode, he uses, keeps his right hand as a me mechanical hand and his left hand, he essentially clicks this like rather large broadsword into and he wears that on his left hand. He has a tower shield that he wears on his back that he can also strap into. And then other, like, a couple other assorted tools he has. Uh, he's got a lock picking set, a decryption device, and a taser that all, like, are strapped to his belt that he can, like, click his hand into. He was raised essentially by Saber. So he's got, like, superhuman strength and durability. He is kind of Saber's, like, perfect super soldier. He is black. He is 6'1. As I wrote, he's, quote, muscular as fuck. And he has green eyes. He's 15 years old. Uh, his costume is pretty simple. It's pretty much like we never decided like what Saber's like go-to costume looked like, right? No, we haven't. So he wears a pretty standard like think Power Rangers suit, like light neck, slightly armored, but most pretty flexible. Um, I is gonna be jealous. I know it's slightly thicker than spandex, made of a Kevlar-like material, but not from this planet. Um, so it is bulletproof and slash resistant which is what Kevlar does not have. Kevlar has the bulletproof, but not the slash resistant. It is emblazoned in like four different spots with the uh, Saber logo, which we also haven't decided. So I'm going to decide now is an S with a sword stuck through it. I'm into it. So he's a soldier. I don't think I mentioned that. Um, I kind of implied it by the fact that I said he's Saber's perfect super soldier. But soldiers, you get... Oh, I'll read the backstory questions. Um... Uh, I, before that, let's jump onto the abilities. I, obviously, one of them is augmented limbs. What was your other one? What did I pick? Uh, superhuman uh, strength and durability. Okay, cool. Um, and then along raised... with that, you get training, right? Yep. Cool. Uh, and also, um, the soldier has the capability to essentially get equipment and help from Saber kind of at will. It's like the sanctuary move for the doomed, but way faster. Let's look down the backstory question, see if there's any that weren't explained or answered yet. In terms of like what led me to join Saber, I never really had another option. Um, I was a literal infant. I may have been like maybe a year old when Glacier adopted me. And so this is the only world I've ever really known. What does Saber do for the world that no one else can? Saber keeps order, and they also keep tabs on kind of everyone. They are a incredibly organized force and they have more information than one could possibly imagine and who outside of saber and the team connects you to the civilian world i'm really curious about this one claymore is a huge light hammer fan like huge light hammer fan he goes to conventions and like he actually like commissioned seamstress to make him a light hammer suit that he says looks almost identical though she's not great with like m uh, metal pieces so he can't, uh, she's not quite gotten the helmet or the gloves right. But, like, he's got, like, a ton of fans in the Lighthammer fan community. Is always watching the Lighthammer live streams. It's, like, the thing that makes him a normal teenager. Okay, cool. And uh, what are your, what soldier moves did you pick? Yeah, um, so everyone, every soldier starts with before we get started. So, when you have time to closely observe your opposition before a fight, roll plus savior. On a 10 plus, hold three. On a 7 and 9, hold 2. On a miss, hold 1 and mark a condition. During the fight, you can spend your hold to name a character you observed and one of many options. Redirect their attack to another character or nowhere. Cross the distance between them and you. 
Stun them, close up, or from a distance. Ignore all harm from one of their attacks, or escape any bindings or impediments they attempt to place on you. Big fighty stuff, that's cool. Yeah, I really, I really, really like that move. I also took more than a shield. Uh, so when you directly engage a threat by heading into danger without regard for your own safety, roll plus savior instead of danger. On a miss, your focused attack leaves someone in grave danger. The GM will tell you what it takes to keep them safe. Moon Harbor Heroes is produced by Anthony Sheets and T.P. Hugh, and edited by Anthony Sheets. Anthony can be found on Twitter at Icy New Year or at IcyNewYear.com. T is the host of Incubator On Air, a new play podcast available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, and Google Play. They can be found at T. Playwright on Twitter or T.P. 94 on Instagram. Anagram was played by me, Anthony Sheets, and The Sword was played by T.P. Huth. Music for this issue was Hitman by Kevin McLeod. A link to the license and his website will be in the show notes. Our logo was designed by Beautiful Beasties. She can be found on Instagram at beastly.doodles or on Patreon at patreon.com slash beautifulbeasties. If you want to get a hold of us, email us at moonharborheroes at gmail.com or on Twitter at moonharborcast. If you enjoyed this issue, please consider leaving us a review on iTunes and recommending it to friends. Word of mouth is really the best way for us to bring these stories to more people. And uh, thanks for helping us save the world. We'll see you next issue.